Neither the United States nor the Republic of Korea nor the international community. We are all united in the fact that North Korea will not be accepted as a nuclear power. The rhetoric that we're hearing from North Korea is simply unacceptable by any standard. And I am here to make it clear today on behalf of President Obama and the citizens of the United States and our bilateral security agreement that the United States will, if needed, defend our allies and defend ourselves. I also want to emphasize, very much in keeping with the conversation that I had a little while ago with President Park, President Park was elected with a different vision for the possibilities of peace. And we honor that vision. She has expressed an articulate view about trust politic. And we hope that that vision is the one that actually will take hold here. Uh, we want to emphasize that the real goal should not be reinforcing the fact that we will defend our allies, which we will, but it should be emphasizing for everybody the possibilities of peace, the possibilities of reunification, the possibilities of a very different future for the people of the Republic of Korea and ultimately for the DPRK. The United States and the Republic of Korea both want to see a peaceful Korean peninsula. And that means it must be free of nuclear weapons. We are committed to working with the Republic of Korea and the other six-party partners in order to get the North to live up to obligations that the North freely accepted and adopted. And we are prepared to work with the conviction that relations between the North and the South can improve and they could improve very quickly. And the world would be much better off if the leaders of the North, and one leader in particular, would make the right decisions. So I want to emphasize uh, that's our vision. And that's the vision that we think the people of the world share.